Hey guys, it's Sarah. Had a great idea for a fun art challenge. Okay, you ready for this? My husband bought my art supplies. Yeah, so uh, my husband's name is Keith, for those of you who don't know, and he was sent into the art aisle aisles at Target to pick out um, art supplies for some sort of creative whatever. So I'm going to show you guys what we have and um, we'll go from there. So my only stipulation to him was also pick out something for me to make the art on. So let's start with that. To make the art on, we have a wood sign. So we'll be making our art on this wooden palette thingy. Okay, so we have the wooden palette. Letters. Uh, these are alpha embellishments. They're chipboard. Blues and yellows and greens and pinks and gold. So we'll be making something fun with that. Tassels. And these colors actually go pretty nicely with the letters. So we have something good going there. Doing pretty good so far. Now here's where it gets a little interesting. You guys see what these are? These are giant fuzzy sticks is what they're called. So they are giant fuzzy pipe cleaners. And then last but not least, we have glitter glue. So he said, I like glitter, I like colors, and so there we go. So we have a pack of glitter glue, giant fuzzy sticks, the tassels, letters, and then the wooden sign. So I was at Target with him when he picked all these up, but I was not in the aisle. So I did not influence this at all. So he brings it all to me and he says, here, what do you think? And I said to him, I'm like, I will do something with it. So um, I will do something with them. I don't know what yet. And looking at what he had, I said, the only thing that I need you to add is um, some craft glue. And so he also picked up craft bond glue. So this was the only thing that I had him add. The other thing I said to him is I will not add any additional art supplies, as in colors, markers, crayons, pencils, anything like that. The only thing I might add from my own collection is if I need to use a paintbrush to spread around the glitter glue or something like that. So that's what we have going on. I can't wait to bring to you um, the art where my husband picked the supplies. So here we go guys. Here is the challenge where my husband picked my art supplies. Now as I already said, we have the art supplies that Keith picked out, and we have the wooden board, we have fuzzy sticks, letters, glitter glue, and tassels. Now, um, I am going to go ahead and narrate the video because I don't want you guys to have to listen to Paw Patrol in the background like was being recorded while I was recording this because, yes, I was not home alone during the recording of this video. So let's go ahead and see how things play out. So first I was going to lace the tassels on the fuzzy stick. Then I realized I probably should lay out my pattern first. So here we're laying out the pattern. Making mistakes. <laughs> if you guys know anything about me, I like things symmetrical and I like things um, 
orderly and organized. I realize this error later, so you'll see how that plays out. I realized that it would probably make more sense if I was lacing these after uh, the board was painted with the glitter glue. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tassels off and paint the board first. So I'm just going to slide these off to the side and paint the board. Grab a paintbrush and get the glitter laying down on the board. I'm not going to use any real pattern here. I'm just going to kind of randomly lay down some glitter glue. Start painting it on the board. Being careful not to get too much on the edges. Because as you can see, the edge takes a bunch of the glue right off of the paintbrush there. Got any more glue to get a better, deeper quality of saturation when it comes to the color. And just spreading that around. Instead of you know letting you guys sit here and watch where I lay down all the random colors of glitter glue, the pinks and blues and turquoises here, just kind of go ahead and skip ahead till this part. Just continue the same process the whole time. Squirting down some glue, spreading it out. Squirt down some glue, spread it out. Squirt down some glue and spread it out. going to go ahead and set this off to the side and let it dry. So let's go back to these tassels. We're going to lace them on. Take it off camera where you can't really see it, you know. Just lace it on the tassels. And then realize that the black shouldn't be there. So say the pattern to myself, pink, black, however those colors go since my hand can't really see them. And then finish lacing. Somehow I missed that part of the filming. I'm going to take the pink ones and I'm going to do something maybe a little crafty. Twist them together, see what I can do. Oh look, here we go. Looking cute, looking cute. Add in a pink flamingo coloration heart here because you guys don't know this. Flamingos start out gray when they're born. Got some good flamingo colors going because, you know, my spirit animal. So I'm going to set that aside. Bringing our board back, we're going to start possibly assembling this amazing piece of art. Just going to spread out the tassels so that they're as evenly possible across the board here on the pipe cleaner. I just kind of bent down the edges so I knew where the um, edge of the pipe cleaner was going to go off of the wooden board. So spread out the tassels so that they're as evenly spaced as possible. Without measuring.
Now since the glitter glue is still rather sticky and I want to lay out my letters, I'm just going to go ahead and set that off to the side since I have it as space as I'm going to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay out my letters. And since I'm going to want to move them around, I'm actually going to lay them out underneath the board here. Realize you guys can't see that, so I'm gonna make adjustments. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna flip that H over so all the gold is along the top. And we're gonna lay out the letters, spelling on the bottom, and then gluing them on. Get this last little star type apostrophe thing here. And I'm gonna place the heart on where I'm gonna want it to, so that I can lay out the other words without um, having to remember where I want them. I'm gonna adjust that and then lay in the other words. Laying out the letters and gluing them down. I feel a little bad that I'm not using more of these fuzzy sticks, so I'm going to possibly think about wrapping this cord. Mm, no, never mind. I don't think I like the way that looks. So we're just going to kind of leave the cord the way it is. Now it's going to come in and glue on our tassels. Imagine I'm going to really fold that under. I'm going to lay down the glue first, though. We want it to stay. We use a nice thick bead of glue to hold this in place since it's so thick. And then just press that into it. Wrap the ends around the piece of wood and really tuck them under. Pressing it all together really nice and tight. Pressing down the fuzzy stick here along these parts. Making sure to get it really into the glue. And since the glitter glue is still a little sticky, I'm going to push the tassel into the sticky part of the glitter glue to hold the tassels in place as well. After it's completely dry, I'll come in and cut off these ends of the pipe cleaner. Now I'm going to glue on the heart. And this I'm going to put the glue actually right on the heart, not on the board itself. I'm doing that off screen here. Go ahead and put the heart back once it has the glue and really press that down. Now comes drying time.
And here we go, the big reveal. And there it is in its place of honor in my studio, hanging on the wall. This was the My Husband Picked My Art Supplies Challenge. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video.